This is the Wheel of Gillinor series. I roll a wheel and whatever it lands on, I'm stuck in that area until I achieve one of two things. 50 million GP or 100 total levels. The goal of the series is to go all the way from a level 3 account to 1 billion GP. Alright, real quick before we get into the video, drop a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll be picking a random person each video to win a bond. Make sure you have your private on. Good luck. No way! Oh my god! We got a fucking Tebow! Oh! Are you serious, bro? All right, here we go. If I roll Miss Stalin now, it's actually the best day of my life. Here we go. Anything's good that with a boss in it. Any area's good with a boss in it. No! That is the worst area I could have gotten. No. Oh my God, I'm gonna have to skill out of this area. Calfight Queen is crap money. I suppose I do have gear though. Oh, that's so crap. All right, you take the good with the bad, I guess. I'm not going to complain. All right, so I'm just going to do a bit of chilled hunter whilst I fletch now that I can afford to. Going to see what level these darts get me to while I do this. And then I'm going to think about just buying my way out of this area, I think. Right, there is 52 fletching. Now I can move on to the myth darts after I finish these steel. There's 60 fletching in about 10 minutes flat. We are already at 100... No, what's that? That is 13 total levels into the area. Or 14, actually. All right, there is 63 fletching. That's all I can get with these darts. Now I'm going to have to wait for some more to buy. And I think while I do that, I'm going to do some wood cutting. All right, there is 41 wood cutting, which means I can use my rune axe now. Look at this. I am 20 levels into the area and I haven't even been in the area for an hour yet. <laughs> I'm going to do, um, I'm going to do a full day, I think, of AFK wood cutting and then I'm going to go and do some construction. All right, so I've just invested into some gear I know I'm going to use quite frequently while the prices are low, so... <laughs> Everything's crashed in the economy at the moment, so I bought all this stuff. Um, I've got 36 mil left to spend on skills if I need, or to buy, you know, so maybe some niche gear if I get um, a different area. But I'm going to hold on to this stuff for now because it's pretty useful everywhere. There we go, 56 wood cutting. That was actually cruisy as fuck. So I'm going to go get some grapes now and make wines because that'll be some quick as hell cooking XP. Okay. No one laughed, but I stopped on the number and it wasn't on purpose. <laughs> it's been about two hours. Seriously, this is so quick. I made how many wines? 4K wines. So that got me from 56 to 73. So I'm going to do some um, molten glass now and just see how many levels I get. I'm just going to do it till I get over it. All right. There is 60 crafting. I think I'm going to stop here for now. Now have a look at this. I have been in this area for 24 hours. So last night is when I rolled it. Boom. 12, 10 total. I'm only 33 levels away from getting off this island now. So I've got like another three hours left of AFKing or something in me tonight. So I'm just going to figure out what I want to do. Okay. I have bought the supplies to get 62 herb lore. Um, actually, what do I need for raids? Let me have a look at that. All right, now it looks like I need 78 to do any raid potions. That, I mean, I could afford it, but I think I'll only do that, consider doing that if I get that area again. Otherwise, it might be a bit of a waste of money, but I'm going to get 62 for now, and then I'm going to reassess what other skills I want to train to get off the island. That'll put me about 20 levels away. Okay, that was no more than... 20 or 30 minutes, but we have 60 herb lore. We are now 221 total, which means we are 22 levels away from getting to the next area. 
I'm thinking construction is going to be the play here. I also have a couple of levels I could get, like Slayer and stuff, just quickly. But 20 construction levels might unlock a bit of content in the house, so I think we'll look into doing that. Oh yeah, I completely forgot that I was going to 62. So there's 62, and now I'm going to go move on to something else. All right, I'm back doing construction. I'm going to do oak ladders for one level, and then I'm going to do uh, teak larders until i can do bench tops i think um i need to remember to get a friggin what are they called a, a butler when i go back to candor in because later on this is going to be so crap without a uh, a butler someone remind me please construction <laughs> i'm over construction right now i'm not gonna lie i'm gonna reassess what i want to do i might do some mining or something i just Really can't be bothered doing any more construction right now. Okay, I am back. Just AFKing some combat stats at uh, Bandits for now. Can't really be bothered skilling, and I think I'm going to do some stuff on my main, so... Might sit here for a few hours, get a couple of levels, and then I might look to do... um Maybe some mining to get off the area, because I'm going to need that for some quests later, like Dragon Slayer, so I'm going to have to do it eventually anyway. There we go. That is 73 defense. I swear I keep doing clips on 73. Everyone's going to start thinking I'm doing this on purpose. All right. Let's do some passive hunter while I fletch. Three levels to go. See you in a couple minutes. Okay. I didn't realize that my mic wasn't plugged in before, but I got 75 defense training at the bandits, which means I can wear a surf helm now. 65 fletching. All right. It's got 15 hunter. One level to go. Right, here we go. The last level in the desert. 66 fletching, and that is one, two, four, three total. All right, let's roll for a new area. Please be something good. All right, please, RuneScape Lords. Be kind. Yes! You're kidding me. Oh my God. It fucking happened. Oh my god, this means we can unlock Mauritania now. So much shit. Oh my god. That is actually the best, best fucking area I could have gotten. So much progress coming in right now. Yes. Uh oh, baby. <laughs> all right, heading up to do Ernest the Chicken and all the pre-quests for Animal Magnetism, um, which is like Restless Ghost. And then I'm going to do... As many quests as I can, pretty much, I think. And then after that, um, I'll look at my options after. First quest in Miss Salon done, Ernest the Chicken. Gonna go down to Restless Ghost now. Boom, Restless Ghost done. Right now, if I just check this, I need to just do Priest in Peril. That's gonna unlock Mauritania on the wheel, and it's also gonna allow me to do Animal Magnetism. All right, just bought myself a Rune Pouch. Save some inventory swap. Look, slots. Now we're going to go finish the quest. Priest in Peril completed. Mauritania unlocked. There we go. A quest that I wish I had had done a long time ago, but Animal Magnetism completed. Don't really care about the stats. I mean, the XP that I get, but look at that. Oh, baby. The backpack. The accumulator. All right, let's go do some more quests. All right. It's going to upgrade. Boom. Two upgraded devices now. Can't upgrade the next one until I get the Vorkath head. And then I have to re-unlock my cell and to come back. Oh, no, you can just add it on. All right. Wait, can you? No, you need to come back here. So even if I get the head, I have to unlock my cell and again. Lost City finally done. Can now use a Dragon Dagger. Don't know when I'll be using it, though, but at least it's done. All right, there we go. Dig site quest completed. That is a lot of mining XP. What did it get me? Two, almost three levels. Okay, that's beautiful. I'll take that any day of the way. Uh, that means if I unlock the desert again, I can do desert treasure now. But I'm um, going to continue on with the quest. All right, just finished Gertrude's cat. Now I got a little kitten. And I think I'm going to name it Pinger. This is the second hardest quest in the world after Doric's quest. Here we go. Start the quest. Oh, what do you know? I already have them on me. 
Unreal. There we go. Demon Slayer done. On to the next. One of the most iconic moments of RuneScape. Decapitating the dragon. Yeah. Hold it up high, baby. <laughs> and boom. Dragon Slayer 1 done. Again, the XP doesn't really do anything for me, but a quest I need to get done to do Dragon Slayer 2 later. Another super difficult quest done. Another banger of a quest completed. Romeo and Juliet. Right, Fossil Island has been... Wait, it's not Fossil Island, is it? It's Bone Voyage. All right, we, we have access to Fossil Island now, so I know I'm going to be doing some AFKing at the Ammonite Crabs there anyway, so I needed to get that unlocked. All right, I've just bought some iron bars. I'm going to start skilling because that's the way I'm going to have to get out of this area. There is no real ways for me to make money in Miss Salon that I can think of right now. So I'm going to continue doing all the quests that I need to get done before I leave. And then um, skilling's my way out, basically. So smithing, I'm going to do a bit of agility and I'll think about what else I'm going to need to do. All right, just finishing up the maze. I forgot to get the reward before. So what am I going to get from that? Okay, so one Slayer level and three Hunter levels. That's decent. All right, there is 40 smithing. I think I'm going to do smithing till 45 now, and then I might go check out Soul Wars and see... I'm going to do an hour of Soul Wars and see how much money I make and see if that might be more viable than skilling in this area. Because obviously I don't want to skill when I don't have to because... It's going to make it so difficult to get out of areas like the desert later where pretty much the only way I'm getting out is if I'm skilling or doing like 400 hours at frigging KQ. So I'm going to go do an hour of Soul Wars and see if that makes me um, a decent amount of money. If it's more than like 500k an hour, I'm willing to put in 100 hours to get off the island, but we'll see.